Today is a busy day. But it can still get a boost. It can be convenient. Okay, Google, when's my next meeting? Next up, you have meeting at the office today at 10 a.m. And it can be flexible. Today can give you exactly what you need. No matter how much you are juggling, you can always use some extra fun. Because when the work is done, you want to enjoy every minute. For when you want to give every day a boost, there's the Void Tick Watch Pro 4G LTE. Simply boost it. First, we are going to take a look at the watch. The first things that you will notice are the buttons on the side of the watch and the optical heart rate sensor and charging port on the back. You'll use the buttons to interact with the watch. The top button is used to power on and off the watch access the controls menu, and start and stop the timer. The bottom button is used to access the menu by pressing and holding. You can press it to go back a screen or to mark a lap during a timed activity. On the back of the watch, you will find the optical heart rate sensor. This is used to track your heart rate throughout the day, during activities, and track your pulse ox. You will also see your watch's serial number and the charging port. Before you use the watch the first time, we recommend fully charging the watch. To charge the watch, simply plug the charging cable into the back of the watch and then plug the USB end to your charging source, such as a computer. And now you're familiar with the buttons and how to charge your watch. Welcome to Fossils About Time. Today, we're gonna to learn how to connect your Fossil smartwatch to your phone. Download the Wear OS by Google app onto your phone. It's compatible with both iPhones and Android phones. Simply follow the instructions in order to pair your devices. You'll then be prompted to copy your Google account info over for messages, notifications, contacts, and more. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. On your smartwatch, go into Settings, tap Connectivity. You'll then select Wi-Fi and choose a network. You'll be prompted to then enter the password onto your smartphone. Make sure that Wear OS by Google app is running on your phone. You'll open it up and make sure it continues to run in the background for full functionality. If it's disconnected, you'll be prompted to reconnect your devices. Check to see if your smartwatch software is up to date. You'll go into settings, tap system. You'll scroll to tap about. Then you will tap system updates. 
If it's not up to date, you'll then be prompted to download the latest smartwatch software. On your phone, make sure that Bluetooth is on and that your smartwatch name is listed. If not, you'll need to do a factory reset of your smartwatch. Until next time, see ya! The meeting. What? Earlier? Marty, we're running late. Stall! Exclamation! Happy face! Does it know how many calories are in this? It does. Oh, Please tell me it's tracking this. Does it know if it's vegetarian? It does. Buy me a yoga class. Nice. My sleep score is 82. Does it know if we're going to have a second date? You don't want to know.